Hi guys, welcome back to Ricola's Crochet Corner. I am Crystal. It is, what day is it? Wednesday, maybe? <laughs> I'm losing my days. It's kind of funny and kind of sad all at the same time. So anyway, I am a little behind this month. I am falling behind on everything I intended to get done. Last month I was like, go, go, go. This month it's like, what happened to my crojo? I don't know. I am doing another pattern test, which I can't talk about until it's finished, but I will show it to you when it is done in a video coming up soon. Okay. So where to start? I think I will start on the only two finished objects I have. I will do that now. So the first thing I will show you is um, Judy from Witch Peas Craft. She is doing the... I always screw up the name. I will have the correct name in the description box, her YouTube channel in the description box, her Facebook page where you can post your finished pictures. It is her year long make along. <sighs> birthstone Mal. I think there's another bit to it, but anyways, the Birthstone Mal make along that I, I'm, I started last month. I think last month I got it done on the first day of the month. I was just like, whoa, let's get this done. And I got it done. I'm also trying to work on Seda's make along, which is she's doing cowls. So I thought I would do cowls as well. Um, the picture this month just hasn't inspired me. Last month I saw the picture and I was like, oh, I know the perfect yarn. This month I haven't found the perfect yarn. So I may have to use multiple yarns. I'm still working on it. I haven't uh, started it yet. And we are what the... I don't even know what date it is. I think it's like the kids went back to school Monday. So yeah, it's got to be Wednesday. So it'd be the 10th of February. Anyway, not that anybody cares. Let's get back to what I was talking about. So for those of you who didn't watch me last month and didn't see what I was working on for this um, make along, I am doing a blanket. So I'm doing squares, granny squares. And last month there was three colors, uh, dark red, dark blue, black. So what I did was I incorporated all those three colors into each, um, into three squares. So her rule is that you have to have a minimum of four rows of the particular color that you choose. You can choose all three colors. You can choose one color. Anyway, I chose to work with all three colors and this month it was purple, gray, and yellow. So what I did was four rows of the purple, two rows of the gray, two rows of the yellow for my first square. For my second square, I did four rows of gray, two rows of yellow, two rows of purple. And I don't love the yellow that I chose, but believe it or not, I don't have a whole lot of yellow in my stash. So I went with what I had. And my third and final square, four rows of yellow, two ye rows of purple, two rows of gray. So the way I look at it is technically, I have four, wait, uh, eight rows of each color. So it kind of works out. And I'm hoping like, even if I know she said some months aren't gonna have three colors and that's cool. I haven't decided if I'm going to still like do three squares every month, no matter what, and just try to figure it out. Or if I'm just going to try going with whatever the color is of the month, I haven't quite figured that, that out yet. But so far now that gives me six squares for my blanket. So that is for Judy's make along. Sorry, my neck is really sore. I heard it somehow and turning my head that way is like excruciating pain. So I'm gonna try not to do that again. Anyway, on to the next one. So I did a pattern test for J Hook, uh, J Hook Crochet, Reggie from J Hook Crochet. I will link her YouTube channel down below, her Etsy shop down below. Um, this pattern that I did, it was her sock pattern. I can't remember the name and of course my printer broke so I couldn't even print out the, the pattern. I had to basically keep looking at my phone every time I needed to know the next uh, instructions. Um, so I'll show you the sock and then I'll talk about the yarn I used. Oh, I forgot to sew in a tail. See, that's how bad I am. I'm just gonna tuck that tail in so you guys don't see it, okay? And we'll just keep it a secret. <laughs> All right. So here, see, they're not, I have to wash them. I was supposed to wash them yesterday and I never did. So I'll show you one at a time. So here is one of the socks. Okay. And 
I basically did my size is size uh, 9 10 it fits snugly on my foot which I like it isn't too big it fits nice it is very easy this was a very 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 easy pattern to do it's very simple the only thing that took me a while like it took me a while to get these done probably longer than it probably should have but I was using a size one yarn and a teeny hook which was a what three millimeter hook I guess I can't remember the hook but whatever hook she says to use in a pattern is the one I used there's a second sock so now I will try. Sorry if they're not sitting right. It's because I haven't washed them. And I don't have any sock blockers. My husband was like, how many socks are you going to make? And should you buy those? And it's a waste of money and all that crap. Anyway, so you can see that they're both the exact same. The heels are blue. See, this the way this yarn works up, it's not meant to stop for a heel and then keep going. So the sock is actually meant to be worked all the way through with you know so that way it's all the same color but i'm happy because both heels are full blue so it worked out perfectly as far as i'm concerned um and you can see it's kind of the same like half of it is that marled look and half of the cuff is the blue and it's kind of the same thing on the other one half is the marled half is blue so it worked out i was i'm okay with it right so i used the KFI sock, um, KFI collection sock painted yarns, which I got from the Wool Queen, which like I said, everything I talk about guys, any patterns that are available, any YouTubers or people that I talk about that have channels or whatnot, I will always link it down below. So the Wool Queen uh, sells these for $18, which I think is really, um, really reasonable for these, uh, for this sock yarn. Um, I enjoyed the sock yarn. I enjoyed working with it. I love that it makes your socks uniform. So you, and you don't have to do the work. It's already done for you. So they're already caked up in nice little cakes. It worked up really well. I enjoyed working with it. If for those of you who don't know about this yarn, I have talked about it before. Um, but for those of you who don't know, it is 75% superwash merino wool and 25% polymene. And there is a hundred grams in here, 436 yards. And they, I have more left of the first one. The one I used was called, I believe, Lotus Flower, but I don't have the, I don't have the, or do I? Oh, I do have it. The ball band, yeah, Lotus Flower. So you can see, I still have quite a bit more. Like I could have went taller with the sock or her pattern allows you to choose the cuff size. So. I like my socks short. I don't like big socks, tall socks, whatever you want to call it. So I could have went way higher and made a really nice crew sock, but I didn't want to because it's not my thing. Not interested. Um, I also, while I was working on it, I used this bag, which I purchased from Sandy from Crochet A's sister. And I will link her YouTube page down below where you can pick them up for yourself. I have like three of these perfect perfect bag to put my yarn in and be able to I was working two socks at once so it was perfect for that and I was like oh I don't know what hook I used 3.5 millimeter hook so I will not lie um it did make my hands were cramping not necessarily because of the pattern the pattern is perfect it is easy it is awesome it has nothing to do with the pattern it's just simply that I am not used to working with a fingering weight yarn and a small hook. Other than that, I love Reggie's socks. I will try to do another pair because now I have that purple yarn that I want to use. And again, I got that at the Wool Queen. And just as an FYI, the Wool Queen, all the month of February, if you make any purchase, big or small, she is giving away a free pattern to a work sock, um, a monkey sock or work sock. I'm not prepared. Anyway, I talked about it in a previous video. I will link her her shop and her Etsy shop and her Facebook page down below so you guys can check her out. Um, you can also purchase the pattern for the sock if you don't want to make a purchase of yarn. That's fine. Just giving you all the options. Now, what else do I got? I don't have anything else finished. That's it. So I also, every month said one of my goals was I was going to pull out a blank, um, pull out a blanket pull out a uh, whip out of my stash of whips. Okay, so I have 
a project in this big uh, big bag okay i know her name is karen it starts with a b her last name i found her on instagram i talked about this bag last year in one of my videos it was very expensive to get it shipped here to canada if you are in the states her bags are really cheap and really awesomely made I wouldn't purchase another one from her only because, not because I don't love the bag. I love the bag. It is fantastic. It is made really well. It is huge. It's just that the cost of shipping it to me here in Canada was really expensive and it was not her fault by any means. Just, I wouldn't buy it again. All that just to say, nice bag, I'm not buying it. I, if I can remember who she is, I will try to link her in the box. If not, she's on Instagram. It's Karen. I want to say B A R something uh, D on Granny D. If you ask her about someone who makes bags and she has purchased a few, she'll be the one to talk about who she is and she'll give you the right info. So I pulled this out and this is a blanket that I was working on last year. And so what I did was I pulled it out and I've already done four rows. And so what I'm going to do is I'm not going to show you the whole thing because it's hard to show, but I will show it to you guys in that. Well, it'll be posted as a picture anyway, because I'm going to add a scallop border to it and then bind it off. And then I'm going to send it to my cousin who just had a baby and he had a girl. So I think this will be perfect for his little Addison. So I'm going to make a nice little pretty scallop border and then I'm going to ship it off. So you might not see it again in a video as a finished object, but I will insert a picture of it to show you guys the finished object of it. So I'm behind on that too, because last month I had two whips pulled out of my stash and I was working on them. Now, acquisitions. I first of all want to talk about um, the wonderful, amazing, uh, sweet, Nicole from Alpaca My Yarns. If you don't know who she is, you should. I will link her down below. Go check out her channel, please. I would appreciate it very much. Um, she is one of my besties. We talk all the time. We text all the time. And she was watching the video that I did where I got my Aberdeen wool. And I had only ordered, what was it, four balls of the coffee shop yarn. This yarn here. And I was saying how I wanted to make a sweater for myself because it's so soft and luscious. And I was like, I couldn't wait to try making a sweater. And it says on here, you need six skeins to make a sweater. And that's for an adult medium. But I'm going to make a different type of sweater with my own pattern. And I'm going to make it work. But anyway, she was so, so sweet. When she saw that I said that I, I didn't have enough, she went and ordered me three more from Aberdeen's and had it shipped to me. And it got here last night. Nicole, you are incredible. With everything you have going on in your life right now and you thought of me, bless your heart. You are a sweetheart and I love you. And um, I'm working on something special to uh, send up your way as well. So I'm hoping to get that soon. Um, just waiting on my sister-in-law. <laughs> so thank you so much, Nicole. I am definitely going to make a sweater because I have enough of it to make a sweater now. Sorry guys, keep turning funny because my head's really, my neck's really killing me. Okay, and now another thing that I got, my husband was so furious because he was, I went grocery shopping at our local No Frills here in Oshawa on King, Townline and King. And <laughs> so for Amanda and a few others that are local to me, I went in there and I was doing groceries and I went down the aisle that has like the... Uh, cleaning objects or cleaning products and the dish or laundry soap and stuff and I found some yarn <laughs> they had and it's five bucks okay they even had burnett velvet in the cakes for five bucks so this one's called uh, burnett Tweedy and it's by yarn inspirations there's only 247 yards 180 grams and it is 83% acrylic and 17% cotton it says it's a six bulky. I say BS to that. It looks more like a five weight. But anyway, I got four of these guys. My husband was like, how do you find yarn at a grocery store? <laughs> he used different words, but we're just going to use those words <laughs> anyway. So I got four of them. And the color is French lilacs. So I, I thought it was pretty. And I'm like, oh, I've never tried this. So I picked it up. <laughs> 
yeah, my husband was not impressed with me. He was like, I can't believe you go grocery shopping and come back with stuff. Whatever. <laughs> then I ordered from a company here in Alberta, Canada, I believe that's where they are. Um, the company name is Dire Wolf Yarn Co. I found them on Etsy. And she had a, what is it called? I, I don't even know what it's, what exactly it is. I'm not even going to open it out of the package because I know it's a fingering weight. It's a very thin one. I believe this one was called the Lover's Coral. So it's basically the Joker and Harley Quinn, uh, the vibe. And so I ordered these. And I ordered uh, Easter egg things from her. So hopefully those will come later. She's she's already messaged me and tell me they're not being shipped now. They'll be shipped later. So I'm going to keep this and put this in a, a box that I have that's for giveaway um, stuff. Because it is expensive. It's not cheap. And it is hand dyed, very beautiful yarn. So um, I ordered that from Dire Wolf. I will link their uh, Etsy shop down below so you can go check them out because they have all their yarns and stuff maybe you'll be interested in. I'm trying to talk fast because I don't want to take forever. I will talk about this shirt in a minute. Um, well, at the end of the video because um, it does have a bad word on it. So I will warn you before I show you. So if you don't like that kind of thing, you can tune out at that point. Um, the last thing I have, am I lying? No, I'm not lying not lying last thing I got was the wool queen had and still has uh on her web page like I said it'll be linked in the description box down below she has yarn for two dollars five dollars on her clearance page so um I picked up a few of the clearance two dollar yarn this was before she even had the five dollars so I will be ordering some more yarn um off the five dollar lot so this is the colorway is strawberry nougat. I'm just getting that out of the way now because it's very small. This is Mary Maxim Sugar Baby Stripes. It is a three thin and is very cute, right? Good for, this would be a good yarn to make one of those lovies for a teddy bear. So I thought that's cute. And then I bought, I thought for Amigurumi, this is what I bought this for. It is Cinder, Cind Sirdar? <laughs> I suck. Sirdar Snuggly 4-ply and it has a shade 0303. It is very small ball of yarn. How much is in here? 50 grams. Oh, it's actually 247 yards, so that's not bad. And it's like a two or three weight anyway, so it's just a white color. I just got it for, like I said, Amigurumi. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, I'm knocking my empty water bottle that I could use water right now. Anywho, let's keep on going. I got some King Cole Finesse Cotton Silk DK, which again, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's just one bottle of it, each color. And this is like, a, it has a color number. It's like 2819 silver. So I got that and it's got like a nice, I don't know if you can see that like chain type spun. It's really cute. So I got three of those. But one was in the silver color. This one is in the stone color. And did I even tell you it's 50 grams? Where did I just see that? Oh yeah, 50 grams, 77% cotton, 22% silk, and there's 131 yards in it. I thought this is kind of cute. This might even, even if I don't use it for amigurumi, I could always make a hat or something. This is Antique Lilac, which is very pretty as well. Sorry if the color is not coming quite true to color, but it is what it is. Then I got two balls of this, Universal Yarns, Uptown Bulky, Knit, Relax, Smile, Repeat, it says. It's a six super bulky, 100% acrylic anti-pilling. It is 100 grams, 87 yards, 80 meters. And this colorway is Sapphire. And I got two of those guys. And then I got two of the same thing, Uptown, super bulky, and just black. I got two of them. So those were all, all the yarn I just showed you from the Wool Queen was two bucks a piece. So that was really good deal. 
Okay, so I've already rambled on for quite a while. Sorry guys, this is a long one, I apologize. So for all of you who get offended really easily, now's the time to shut it off. I wanna thank you for coming down, watching me, liking, subscribing. I appreciate you all. And I'm going to show you the shirt that I'm wearing and talk about it quickly. So now's the time to say goodbye if you get offended. I'm just putting it out there. <laughs> so, all right, it's very hard to see. So I'm coming close, okay? So it is, oops, sorry, my hair's in the way here. It says, it's Cinnamon Stitches Bitches. <laughs> so it is from Cinnamon Stitches um her t-shirt shop i will link jen down below go you already know jennifer come on everybody knows jennifer um go and check her out i saw her wearing this shirt i don't know if it was this color i can't remember what color she had on but i saw it and i was like that is funny i have to get it and my husband laughed when he saw it <laughs> he was like yeah it's got an offensive swear word on it of course you're in for it and i'm like yep that sounds like me so I got a shirt just to one show support for Jennifer and two I just I thought it was funny so I had to get it. Um, okay, now the offensive stuff is over. <laughs> I just wanted to do that at the end so if anybody would get offended they would have already had time to leave. Um, thanks guys for liking, subscribing, tuning in, watching me babble, talk about all kinds of things. Um, like I said throughout the whole video I will put everything in the description box down below that I talked about, everyone I talked about. If I forget anything, I apologize. I do tend to have more things on my mind than I sometimes forget. If I do, and there's anything that you were specifically interested in and I didn't link it, please just uh, leave me a comment and I will do my best to reply in a timely fashion and I will get you the info that you need, okay? So thank you everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your Wednesday. I'm pretty sure it's Wednesday, I'm almost sure. <laughs> We'll go with it. It's Wednesday. Have a happy Wednesday. And I will hopefully be back with another finished object and a couple more little things um, later this week or beginning of next week. So stay warm and take care.